Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hacker 7 here. Now, in this video, I'll be taking a look at HTTP Injector. Now, I spoke about this application for iOS devices about a month ago, and it is now officially released on iPhones. Now, let's see what is there. Now, I'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the Android version to see if there are any differences or similarities that can be noted. Now, as you can see here, SSH and WireGuard settings using V2 Ray raw config, support custom DNS routes, shadow socks connection. Now VPN, there were some issues with the VPN start button being stuck and those have been fixed. Now let's look at the version history. Now it was officially released for public use um, three weeks ago. So that's good to note. So that's like the end of March. Now let's open the application and see what it has in store. So, as you can see here, the protocol that has been selected by default is V2Ray. And that is because that is the only supported protocol currently. Now, as you know, the Android version supports SSH, SSL, DNS connection, and those varying connections. So if we should go to help, we can see it describes the same as what is on Android. It uses the same description. However, the different tunneling methods aren't supported for ios devices as yet and as you can see we have a lot less tools here we don't even have the hot share um hotspot and so on so as you can see we we need to get this app up to date with the android version well not me but the developers now let's see we have the v2 ray settings here now this is not a guide as to how to create a V2Ray account, but you could do this using SSH kit and it will provide you with a one month V2Ray account. Um, you would have unlimited use with the account. There is no downtime based on what I've noted and so on and so forth. So we could actually do that. Now I'm already on SSH kit. Um, you would need to have a telegram account to be able to to create an account for this now once this has been submitted it will create a vmes link you would simply copy the link head on over paste from clipboard you would paste from clipboard and it would import a protocol now as you can see the websocket host has been listed here you could set it to whatever you like so we have everything set let's go back and if we select start allow as you can see it has been connected now with this the server is connected to whichever v2ray account you created um and that would be your location. So bear in mind, you would need to have a reliable V2Ray server to be able to use this with. Um, that is just the only protocol that is supported right now, V2Ray. You could customize the settings and so on and so forth. So that is it, a quick update or an overview of what the HTTP injector application has to offer on an iOS device. It is not as compact or refined as that of an android device but it can work it has the basic functionality and by the way v2ray is one of the best protocols to connect through so it is a step in the right direction now how this compares to other vpns um i will do a comparison down the line when other protocols have been added so for example ssh um, they add their own SSH servers, so you know we could do a comparison with VPNs such as NordVPN um, and all those other VPNs out there. We could test to see which one is better and how they compare. So as mentioned, this is just a quick overview of the application. You could check out other videos um, surrounding this particular VPN, you could join their Telegram channel 
and get more information as to what this application has to offer. So I hope this video was informative and it helped you in understanding what HTTP injector has in store and how to configure the V2Ray. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.